Hello and thanks for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be the fourth Excel 2013 tutorial and today's topic is going to be how to filter data and how we do that is we add a table to our worksheet. I wanted to point out all of these tutorials will be posted on my website which is www.10minutetrain.com The other thing um, that I've pointed out here is a few other links here that may be of interest to you and the final note I wanted to make is all of these tutorials are posted for free. So what I've done here is I've created a spreadsheet. I've got a list of names. So these would be salespeople. These are the employee IDs. And these this is the region that they're part of. South, North, East, and West. And then I've listed their sales out by month, January through December. And then I've totaled their sales here. So right here I've got a list of 23 users. Or 23... Uh, salespeople. Some spreadsheets that you work with might have thousands and thousands of rows. So one of the things that you need to do in some cases is have a simple way to uh, filter on the data. So how you would do that, if you have a contiguous range of data like this without gaps in it, put your cursor anywhere within the table, click the cell, go to insert, and choose table, and what will happen is you'll get a create table dialog box. And in this case, you notice it actively selected the, um, the contiguous range of data. The other thing is there's a checkbox here that should come up by default if you have headers on your, on your uh, tables, on the uh, columns, is my table has headers. And what that means is you've got titles up here on top of your uh, columns in this case. So I'm going to say OK. And what it does is it adds... Um, it adds these drop downs and how you would use these is let's say for example you wanted to quickly see okay show me all of the sales for the south east region or for the south region I'm gonna go ahead and click uncheck the select all and I'm just gonna check the E for east and I'm gonna go ahead and or sorry I'm gonna click the S for south I'm gonna click OK and there you have the um, just the south salespeople and their data. Likewise, if I want to show south and east, I just go in and check east also. To select them all, just go back here and click the select all box. Sometimes you'll notice you might have, you might have, you might not be getting the data that you want. So let me go in here and do, let's see, let's try Anita Bradford. Carrie and Ellis and look at their data and now I go over here and I select and now okay so now you'll notice that now I don't have anyone from the north and that's because I'm already filtered on the data over here so let's choose south so sometimes and you'll notice the little um, icons up here will change from the little pull down arrow to this so just just be uh, aware that uh, if you've got multiple columns filtered you're going to get more and more restrictive and you may not be seeing the data that you're expecting to be seeing. So that's all I wanted to share with you um, for that. And then um, as far as I'm going to go back and do select all. So now if I wanted to go down here and add a new employee all I have to do is as long as it's contiguous I could add a name down here. Let's do Robert and Robert has employee ID um, 3400 and Robert's in the north and then um, Robert just started in December so he had $15,000 worth of sales I hit return and if I go here now I can go over here and I can select Robert and there's Robert's data okay it was a little tough to see that that added it in the table because it wasn't a um, it wasn't a blue shaded cell but if I add another one here let me just add another one as an example 3401 you can see it just dynamically adds it okay and then over here if you added a, a, a new column it would do the same thing and add it into the table 
The final thing that I wanted to share with you is sometimes you put data into a table and you may want to take it out of the table to do other work on the spreadsheet or you decided not to have a table for filtering on the spreadsheet. So in order to undo it, click on any cell. So I'll just click on this one here. Single click it, then right click and choose table and then choose convert to range and you'll get this message. Do you want to convert it to a normal range and you say OK. So now you're probably saying, well, yeah, that's nice, but now I've got this formatting and I really don't want that formatting. So what you can do is just go up here to the very top left in between the columns and the rows. Single click there. That'll select the whole sheet. Choose copy. Open up a new sheet by clicking the plus button down here for a new sheet. And you can go in here and you can paste it, but if you paste it like that, you'll see what'll happen. It'll paste the formatting with it or you could just paste values. In this case we have some formulas that we want to um, also paste. So here's a here's an option to do formulas. Here's an option, you know, there's several different options here. So what we want to do in this case, I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to go back up and I'm going to choose paste special. And then you have more options here. So for example, you can you can click on in this case we want to do we want to choose formulas and number formats because I had the dollar symbol, the currency symbol, and, um, and I also had some formulas. So we can try that. And you might want to experiment with this a little bit depending on what you're trying to copy. And I'm going to say OK. And then over here, like you'll notice, it didn't copy the, like the, the width formatting or anything like that. So, but now I've expanded that column. And now you can see all my data is there so now I can work with it and now you notice the formatting when I adjusted that last column was a little um, uh, made it made it, made the columns pretty large so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight all the columns and how I do that is just click up here on the A column and then hold down your mouse drag it over to the last column and I'm going to go back to the home tab here on the home tab you have a format button and I'm going to do auto fit column width and that's just to clean up the spreadsheet and you may want to adjust it a little bit and you may want to adjust one or two columns or make them a little bit larger and you can manually do that or you can go in and make this, you know do it like this or, or manually set the size the other thing is you may want to go in and do certain columns and center them so let's do the employee ID in the region and let's put those in the center and how we do that we highlight them then we right click and choose format cells I'm going to go to alignment my alignment tab and choose center and then I'm going to go ahead and go up here and do that so I've chosen center and now I'm going to click OK and there you see they're in the center so that's what I want to share with you thanks for joining and please subscribe take care